Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to be my first ZBrush tutorial video. I'm not that much of an advanced user at ZBrush, I'm actually pretty intermediate, but I have to make this video because they just released a new ZBrush for the Mac 3.2 and they have introduced this amazing feature called GoZ, which enables you to basically export your million polygon uh, ZBrush meshes to Maya or Cinema 4D or 3D Max, I believe, or Moto is supported right now, um, to a mesh that's much more controllable in those programs, meaning way less polygons. And it creates displacement maps for you. It creates normal maps for you. There's no more doing that yourself. I mean, they make it. They couldn't make it any more simpler to to do this. Uh, basically, I'm just going to show you with this little demon guy that I have here, uh, you know, how this quickly works. So, you have your original mesh right here. This guy is at his lowest subdivision level. If you look at the geometry, he's at subdivision 1. The first thing you need to do is assign UVs to this guy if he doesn't have them already. So, what you need to do is go to UV map. And see, mine has them already, but I'm just going to delete them really quickly to show you how to do it. So... Preferably, the bigger your render is going to be, you know, the better, the bigger your UV map should be. So I'm just going to leave mine at 1024, the default, which is big enough. And for this guy, I'm going to use Group UV Tiles. So you click Group UV Tiles. ZBrush is going to do its thing, calculating UV coordinates. Should only take a couple seconds, uh, depending on your computer. Okay, and now you have UVs assigned to your character. So the next thing we're going to do is create a texture map to export to Maya so that he can still maintain this look. So at this point, for the texture map, you need to go up back up to your geometry and you want to bring it to the highest subdivision level. In my case, it's subdivision level 3. So you bring it all the way to the, the top, you give it a couple seconds, and it's going to smoothen this up here. Okay, now that's the best mesh that I'm going to get, the most detail. So we're going to go down to Texture. I want to close this geometry window. We're going to go down to Texture Map. And we're going to click on New from Poly Paint. That's if you've painted your model. Uh, you're going to click on New from Poly Paint. And it's going to generate a texture. Okay, now you've got your texture map right there. Already assigned to it. Uh, nothing else needs to be done with that. The final step before we hit this GoZ magic button is to... Uh, lower back down the geometry again and create a normal map or a displacement map depending on which one you want to do. Either or would work. So we're going to go back to geometry and we have to bring this down again to its lowest level. It's going to calculate. Okay. And we're going to go down to whatever one you want to do. I mean it could be displacement, it could be normal, it could be both. Uh, you could do either you know, at the same time. But for this case I'm going to use displacement map. Uh, only really one thing that needs to be checked on this right now is smooth UV. And you just hit create displace map. And again, it's going to calculate. It's going to do its thing here. Subdividing the UVs. Subdividing the geometry. Okay, and the displacement map is created. That's it right there, already done for you. Um, and now all that's left to do is really import this into Maya. So you go all the way to the top again by your tools, and in the new 3.12 you'll find this Go Z or 3.2 you'll find this Go Z button. All you have to do is click it, and it's going to do all the work for you. It asks you uh, which program do you want to do. Right now, currently these are the supported ones: Maya, Moto, Cinema 4D. I believe Max is supported, but uh, I don't have that on my computer, so I don't know if that's the reason why it's not showing. But you're going to click on Maya or whatever program. Now, if it's the first time you do it, uh, it's going to tell you that it's going to add a new shelf button to Maya for importing and exporting into Gozi. You're just going to have to click OK, but I've already done that, so you won't see that here. Uh, and if Maya isn't loaded, it'll already load it for you. Um, it takes a couple seconds. It's reading the file. And the warning message down here is from some previous stuff that I had done before playing around with this, but here shouldn't pop up any second. 
Okay, and there it is. Now it does import upside down. There's preferences in ZBrush that you could uh, change the way that it imports into Maya. But at this point, it, for this video, it really doesn't matter. I can simply rotate around him. And now he's at full resolution detail. And he was actually exported with only a few thousand polygons, a few hundred thousand polygons instead of the actual two million that he is. Uh, so what it did was create all the displacement math for you. The uh, normal map, if you chose a normal map, it put on the textures. If I hit six on my keyboard, it'll apply the texture in a second. I'm working with a two gig laptop MacBook, so you know it takes a little bit of time here, but the texture should pop on and now this is going to be the simplest way that you could possibly you know import something into Maya there's no more annoying displacement map creating nor normal map creating uh, matching up the UVs anything it does it all for you so it's it, it made it very very user friendly almost uh, impossible to mess this up so there he is I mean you got your my guy is fully you know, the full million polygons, it looks like it, but really it's just an illusion. When you render this out, it take a little while to render it, and you'll get yourself an amazing-looking mesh, much better than what ZBrush can give you just by using the program itself. So uh, that's GoZ. It's the newest feature for ZBrush. I hope it helps you guys. It helped me a lot, and uh, that's all there is to it.